What's up everybody, it's Merman Mike. I'm out here at Lake Natoma today and we're actually at a different spot than we've been normally. We've normally done all of our videos over here, but today Carl Bly is with us and he actually led us to a new spot. I've also got my beautiful girlfriend, Natasha. I'm gonna let him basically tell you why we're here and why he contacted me, but I'm super excited to be diving in a new spot. Here's Carl Bly. He's the owner of a Facebook page. It's called the American River Lost and Found. He basically does exactly what I do, but he's been doing it a lot longer, minus the YouTube channel. And he goes out there, he tries to return any sort of valuables back to their owners. And he's just out there searching for treasure and picking up trash when he can. So I love the guy and I love when he re requests that I go out and help him. So here he is. He's gonna tell us a little bit more about why we're out here. Yeah, so I, I got a call from or a note from a guy saying that he lost his bike down this cliff that we're right next to and uh, he gave me some pretty good coordinates and, and I came out here a few days ago and I found a bike, but it wasn't his bike. Oh. So all kinds of questions came up and uh, went out searching again and um, newsflash, I found a second bike. So that second bike uh, wasn't his also. So again, all kinds of questions are arise. This place is a little bit deep for my comfort, so we got the super stud uh, Merman Mike out here, and he's gonna uh, dive down and see if there's anything else out there, see if we can find this guy's actual bike that I came out the first time to look for, and uh, who knows, there might be some other stuff down there too. And I'm super excited, because as you guys know, I always love returning valuables back to the owner. 25, 30 feet is absolutely no problem for me. I have all my dive gear, I've got my light, I've got my knife just in case, I've got the camera so you guys can come along with the journey. But yeah, as you guys can see up here, right on the other side of this trail, or up this little crest, is a trail. And there's almost no space between the trail and the end of this cliff that drops off to about 25 feet down here. So if you wipe out or anything like that coming around that turn, odds are you're gonna lose your bike over the cliff and you can't get it back because it'll sink too fast. That's why we're out here today. But I'm super excited. Hopefully we can find it. Hopefully we can find some other stuff as well. And of course, I'm going to get all the trash while I'm down there. But if you guys are liking these videos, please remember to like, share, subscribe. It always helps me get out here, make more videos, and get that much more trash out of the lakes and rivers and return that many more valuables back to their owners. All right, guys, stay tuned. Tell me where, Carl. Here? Uh, I would start at the cliff right there where the uh, catfish hole is. Okay. Go try to find the catfish that lived in there. Oh, there's a rope swing right there. I didn't even see that. All right. God, that hole is creepy. Not gonna lie, it is cold in here. All right, let's go see if we can try to find a bike. And anything else. Scooters. <laughs> Am I completely off track or? No. I mean, you did a whole circle here. All right. This spot, I don't know how much visibility you have, but. I Not a lot. <laughs> yeah, both of them are missing handles. That one at a time. Yeah, see, now that's my vision of stolen property. There's parts missing here and there. Yeah. All right. No mountain bikes though, huh? Not yet. He said it was going to be 10 feet which way? 
Well, he said his words were 10 feet from the rope swing tree facing the cliff to the left. So this so, way. I mean, that would put it like right here. I'll go down again and check it out. Bike, but a ton of trash. Really? Yeah. Did you with anything? Uh, I'm gonna get the back of trash up to the boat. It's rather heavy. All right, maybe it's a little further down. I don't know. My only fear is that he told more people. Yeah. Maybe somebody came out and got it. It's cold. I found a bike like halfway between here and there, but, but yeah, but it was like folded up in two, they didn't have any spokes in it, it couldn't have been the bike. All right, everybody, just got done with our dive out here at Lake Natoma, and unfortunately we weren't able to find the bike. We did find another one that was all like collapsed on top of each other and whatnot, but I couldn't get it up because it was like inner twined with some vines and whatnot in the bottom of the ground i'm going to try to come back at another day and try to get that out of the river but we did find some other cool things down there while i was searching for the bike i'm going to show you guys those now we got i think this is a speaker but i mean i've never seen this big of a speaker out here on the river we got a vape got this super cool little like shot glass bottle van gogh we have a pair of sunglasses without an arm Got an arm without a pair of sunglasses. Got a pair of goggles, an eye home, a football that had better days. Found a paddle, unfortunately, end of the paddle is no longer there. And then we found two Razor scooters. I was super stoked when I found the first one. And then unfortunately, when I got to the handlebars, I realized they weren't there. And then I found the second one and I was like, all right. And then it happened again. <laughs> Both of these don't have handlebars. I don't know if they came out and then they were just chucked into the river because they were broken, they were stolen. I have no idea. And then everything else we got was just trash. Got all the trash we came across. 
I thoroughly believe you can't just go for the treasures, you have to get the trash too. But if you're liking these videos, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps me get out here, make more videos, get that much more trash out of the lakes and rivers, and hopefully return that many more valuables back to their owners. But from me and my beautiful girlfriend, Natasha, everybody. Bye. Take care. Check for crawdads real quick. They like to go in the cans. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is where the trash is supposed to go. Ooh, not with that shoulder, though. Oh. Oh. Till next time, everybody. Take care.